Hello everyone, it's that time of the week again. It is Friday, February 8th, 2019 here in Tokyo, Japan, and it is time for the weekly Bitcoin Cash News Rundown. Uh, everybody has been on the show before, but we have a new mix this week. So I'm mm -hmm. Roger Veer, CEO of Bitcoin.com as usual. Mm -hmm. I'm Komugi Yamazaki. Yeah. What's your first language? First language. Oh, Japanese. That's what I thought. <laughs> and? This is Asuka. Hey. Third time maybe on the show? Yes. Yeah. Third so. time. And uh, our rock star developer, Gabriel Cardona here, Bitbox hey, and Badger Button. And yes. what are your other favorite projects? you got so many things going on. SLP, SDK. Yeah, and SLP. So Simple well, Ledger Protocol. Okay. Yes, and what was the other one? Uh, Badger Button and Bitbox SDK, which is the first project I worked on when I joined Bitcoin.com. He's busy with a lot of stuff, and we're <laughs> going to cover those in the news here. Okay, but, yeah. but first, we have one that's appropriate for the winter weather here in Tokyo. So, <laughs> yeah, are you getting sick, Gabriel? Or? <laughs> I haven't acclimated yet. Ah! Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, what is this? So, what is I, this? I think that should lead, lead the show, right? Yeah. So, like, this is the Iozetta Crypto Iozetta. Candy Machine. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I think we might have to unplug it at some point during the show. Yeah, People I mean, keep it's, it's going to be, you know. So you, no candy at all. You've seen mm -hmm. this before, right? This is a QR code yeah. for Bitcoin mm -hmm. Cash. Anybody that sends 40 cents worth of 40 Bitcoin cents. Cash mm -hmm. okay. instantly dispenses some candy. And, and oh, we're wow. going to need a bigger cup, Makoto. I can see the cup's already like half full of candy. <laughs> yeah. And if I, it's going to overflow during the show, I, mm -hmm. I, think I have a suspicion here. So uh, anyhow, anybody uh, anywhere in the world, we don't know where those candy came from, mm -hmm. but just like that, and anybody can buy this machine with uh, Bitcoin Cash as well. Remember oh, the, how remember much is it? About 100, I think 105 US dollars. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, that's and I think cool. we talked about being able to feed chickens on the internet. Yeah, previously. that's your favorite activity. Oh, yeah. oh, oh so good. <laughs> Thank you, whoever keeps Thank sending you. us candy. So, You're give so me generous. all the cups, Makoto. It's okay. Uh -huh. yeah, there we go. I want to do this with like, but like with like 500 Japanese yen coins. Well, you can do it with Bitcoin <laughs> Cash. All right, okay. <laughs> right now, right? In fact, people are somewhere. So, when that cup gets full, I'm going to swap it out for this one. So, thank you to whoever keeps sending us some. Uh, some Bitcoin cash and yeah, some candy there. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so we were talking about. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of destructive, isn't it? <laughs> it's going to be empty. It's going to go. Oh, so I'm, I'm sorry. We're going to interrupt the show because there's so much candy can in I here. Can I have some? Yeah. Oh, yes, you can. Yeah, and right. candy always tastes better ah. when it's been paid for in Bitcoin yeah, cash. Yeah. So. There we go. Um, so that's leading off the show. Mm. Uh, and this is our very first episode ever on Twitch. You can follow us it's on nice. Twitch now. I think mm -hmm. twitch.com. Roger, this tastes like economic freedom. <laughs> <laughs> more than just a pretty face. You yeah. hear that, everybody out okay. there? A lot more it than just a pretty like face. economic so. freedom. Yeah, this tastes <laughs> like economic freedom. That's, that's the tagline for the show. Oh, oh. And yes. here comes some more economic freedom right yes. now. Anyone, Keep anywhere pouring. in the world can buy candy for us right here for <laughs> this machine. <laughs> Pretty popular, apparently. So mm. um, I'm so distracted by the candy machine. What, yeah. else, what else should we talk about the candy machine? You can do it right now, instantly, for anywhere in the world with Bitcoin Cash using the Bitcoin.com wallet. Mm -hmm. You can buy the machine yourself at iozeta.com. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's awesome. You can feed ducks at uh, ducks.cash, I think, chickens.cash, and a couple uh. other things. <laughs> and maybe we'll have to buy like a steel cage, but maybe we can set one of these up in St. Kitts where you'll be able to feed monkeys live on a live stream. We'll have like peanuts come out of the machine. The monkeys I'm sure will attack this so we'll have to like encage yeah, it yeah, mm -hmm. sure. uh, so that the monkeys can't destroy it. But uh, I think that would be pretty fun to feed monkeys live mm -hmm. on Twitch with Bitcoin Cash. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, what else? Eventually, maybe we're gonna be able to feed pandas or oh, why not? tigers. <laughs> if you have a, a if you have a tiger or a panda at home, <laughs> yes. make sure to order an Iozeta a crypto candy machine so people can feed your tiger or panda with Bitcoin mm. Cash live awesome. on Twitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I guess that's it for the candy machine at the moment. But okay. that brings mm -hmm. us to uh, winter weather, right? Gabriel has his big giant warm jacket on. The rest oh, of yeah, us are in t-shirts. So so I haven't acclimated yet. I've been in Tokyo now for about two weeks and I'm clearly, I'm not there yet. Like I'm people. sweating <laughs> a little bit, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> kind of here, so. um, which brings us to Coins for Clothes, right? So they're expanding their Bitcoin cash. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know who did that, but the oh way the machine works, left. <laughs> if, if you send more than 40 cents, if you send 80 cents, it dispenses twice as much candy. So I think oh. someone might have sent like a couple dollars there. I don't know. So, 
and the machine's getting a little uncandy at this point. But thank yeah. you to whoever you are, <laughs> wherever you are. Out there. And put in the comments, what do you want us to put in the dispensary mm -hmm. machine for next week? What should be what should be activated? We have this candy dispensing machine, or we have an electrical outlet that can be used to turn something on. So and we talked about dropping like paper wallets in some type of little, um, you know, like a little plastic j container, basically something we're like he mentioned before. We're on the fourth floor, so we don't want to drop something too heavy. But imagine if we had this outside and people could be dropping paper wallets to people passing by. Yeah, we, we can well, tell us what you want us to do and automate where you can pay in Bitcoin Cash and make something happen. We can do it with uh, this machine or we have an electrical outlet that can turn on whatever device we want uh, just by paying Bitcoin Cash. It'll turn on for X number of seconds. So mm -hmm. uh, keep getting distracted. So uh, Coins for Clothes, right? Mm -hmm. You can visit them at coins, the number four clothes.com. Uh, it's a Toronto based charity uh, using Bitcoin Cash to help people get clothes uh, all over the place. So uh, it allows anyone to start earning Bitcoin cash for their gently used or new clothing donation. So you can donate clothes to them and they'll give mm -hmm. you Bitcoin cash. And uh, if you need clothes, like this is a charity that'll help you out with that. So it's oh a really wow, good that's example awesome. of mm -hmm. people using, uh, using Bitcoin cash. So, and then uh, I think the next one's something Gabriel knows more about, so. Yeah, so Honest.Cash partnered with Bitbacker bio, uh, Bitbacker.io, so, um, there has been a very popular site called Patreon, which has been around for a couple of years, where people who are content creators can go and create an account and they can be sponsored with regular payments or, um, I don't know if you can do one-time payments, but basically it's a way for content creators to make money based on their content. And recently they've, ha they've had, multiple times they've dealt with this problem, but I think it flared up again recently, just around, I don't know if censorship is the right word to use, but basically them going in and either shutting down people's accounts or freezing their payments. and. As you might imagine, if you're a content creator and you depend on your monthly payments for your YouTube channel or your blog or whatever, that's no good for you. So uh, Bitbacker.io recently launched and they allow um, basically similar model to Patreon where you can go and be supported by your um, people who consume your content and they can use cryptocurrencies. So Honest.Cash recently uh, partnered with them and they haven't made the full um, announcement exactly how it's going to play out. but. We have a little bit of a connection with Honest.Cash. So mm -hmm. in, I believe it was October, we had a hackathon in Amsterdam. And two really smart guys showed up. In fact, they won. Uh, one of them was Adrian Barwicky, and then the other one was Roscoe. And I'm forgetting Roscoe's last name at the moment. I apologize. And they actually forked Bitbox, which is the project I work on. And they added um, reg test support, and then they added being able to spin up a, uh, your own Insights um, clone in a Docker container. They did a bunch of cool stuff. This was called Panda Cache. Mm -hmm. So immediately after that, um, they created Honest.Cache. Basically, it was around the time of the fork whenever um, Ryan decided to foc focus on BSV. These guys spun up Honest.Cache. So Honest.Cache is sort of like Medium, where you can post content and you can get mm -hmm. tipped in Bitcoin Cash. And if people do upvotes, it's Bitcoin Cash. And it's, of course, built with the Bitbox SDK, and they use our REST uh, API under the hood. And then, um, actually, Roscoe, at the moment, tentatively, is joining our team in April. And we're going to be working on a high-level scripting language called BoxScript, which is going to be like a TypeScript language, which compiles into script, which you can run on Bitcoin Cash nodes. But um, Honest.Cash is really amazing. It's uh, they have it limited, I think, right now to maybe like 12 or 1,300 creators, but their intention is to be the new medium. So if you guys know, Medium was created by one of the co-founders of Twitter, Evan. Oh, hey, I didn't yeah. know. Yeah, and they've had the same problem as Patreon. They've had censorship issues. So with Honest.Cash, I even believe you can store your um, writings either in Opera Turn or on IPFS. I think they offer that option as well. So Adrian, really awesome. His whole entire team is pretty awesome. And, um, and Honest.Cash yeah. is pretty awesome, too. Yes. Yeah. So. That's awesome. And so is Bitbacker.io. Yeah, I've, I've used Bitbacker.io a little bit, and it was pretty neat. So, mm -hmm. and actually, you know what? This re I thought of something real quick while we were talking about the coins for clothes and this. And you said you can turn on power switches. So we have them sitting around here somewhere. Yeah. Too, so, so Lorian Ga uh, Gamaroff, I believe, is how you pronounce it. Um, he is. Um, sp gosh, I'm forgetting the wallet that he builds. Anyway, he. Um, has been in the Bitcoin cash or in the Bitcoin space for many many years, and his very first project, which he actually gave a presentation on at um, TED maybe four years ago, w um, he grew up in Africa, and so he created these power stations that people could pay over the web, and it would with Bitcoin at the time, and it would power like you know some village in Africa. So um, similar model could be something here if you have a place that needs to be powered, or if you're having some type of event or something like that, you could pay with that. I just thought of that as we were talking about this. So uh, we're so lucky to have Gabriel on with us again this week because he's just an encyclopedia of knowledge about all sorts of stuff that's going on. And uh, 
I'm guessing Oscar and Komugi have not used paybutton.cash yet. No, oh, I haven't. Yeah. No, I haven't. I mean, I, I just I assumed that she didn't. Neither, and neither have I. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm guessing Gabriel's already looked at it and is familiar with it. I have. So I know tell us about paybutton.cash. Yeah, so I know Super Nerd. He hangs out in our Telegram channel. And basically, there is um, there are several different sort of like payment button projects which are happening. Of course, I've been built, uh, working on the Badger and the Badger button. And another one of them is paybutton.cash, which actually leverages the um, Badger wallet development. It says right here, um, paybutton creator explains that a lot of credit goes to the Bitcoin.com and Badger wallet development teams for making the platform possible. So thank you, Super Nerd. We were chatting just today, literally. Um, so the idea being here, if you want to do premium content, if you want to accept tips for your content, any of that type of stuff, you know, what are your options? You can drop a cash address or a legacy address. That's probably the worst option. You can drop in a QR code. That's one step forward. Mm -hmm. Or you can just drop a button on your site. And when a person clicks it, it will, in this particular case, fire off Badger Wallet. So I can put it on my Twitter or Instagram. Uh, fire, mm -hmm. fire off. Badger Wallet? It does. Oh, so it's just another button that interacts with yeah. Badger Wallet? Uh, yeah, but he also has more to that. Credit to him, there's more to that. It, it does QR codes, and it can also do like fundraising. So if you're trying to raise 2BTC or BCH, I apologize, it'll show like a, um, a chart showing how much you've raised and the time. And So there's more to it than that, but if you click the button, it will fire up Badger. So that's really exciting and interesting that a whole platform yeah. ecosystem is building mm -hmm. around Bitcoin Cash and the Badger button right. and the Bitbox SDK. And like yeah. People and developers all over the world are busy building on this platform. Yes, yeah, so we have a Badger SDK. So we have several tools specifically for this. We have a Badger SDK, and then we have a bunch of React components where you can drop a Badger button into your website with a single line of code. And it's incredibly extensible. You can do op return, and it supports tokens, and you can do multiple outputs. So if you're a content creator and the site that's hosting your content wants to get paid 5% of the transaction, you want to get 95% of it, you can do that kind of stuff. Um, pay to script hash, pay to multi-sig, it's pretty advanced. So I suspect we'll see more than just pay button and badger button. I hope that people, oh. I hope that people <laughs> no. will leverage it to, to offer me. all kinds of solutions like this. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to have that on next <laughs> week. <laughs> so it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's already yeah. empty. Yeah. We need more candy. we yeah. got to dump it back in here. Oh, if you have any more candy, it'll overflow out of the cup there. The cup's about ready to overflow already. But, uh, so I do full? Oh, yeah. Oh. So. Um, which again, though, brings us to like the <laughs> next one. We touched on a little bit Badger Wallet. Like, yeah. Badger Wallet is awesome. Like, I talked about it a little bit in the past, mm -hmm. but like, I'm like, what do we need another wallet for? We have the Bitcoin.com wallet. No, mm -hmm. I was wrong. Badger Wallet is awesome. Go and try Badger Wallet mm -hmm. on, uh, I guess, the big, the most common site to use it at this point is what? Satoshi Dice, probably. I have a whole list of oh. them. So yeah. there's a bunch. So really, you know, what is the problem we're trying to solve here? Again, the problem is all about user experience. So why does Apple have more liquid cash than the U.S. government? They didn't mm. stumble into that kind of success. <laughs> the government's run by a bunch <laughs> of stupid politicians. That, that, that's <laughs> one answer. <laughs> another answer is that they took all the complexity that is uh, the modern computer and they wrapped it in something so simple that kids yeah. can use it. Anybody who's had a kid knows when they're one or two already, they're mm -hmm. able to swipe and tap and they get the whole thing. Yeah, like my niece and nephew, they're glued to, oh. the, to their iPad and Yeah, iPhone. absolutely. Um, I mean, you know, you find super digitally native kids intuitive with it in a way that even older people are not able to internalize because it's just so obvious to them from day one. So, you know, what problem are we trying to solve with Badger and Badger Button? We want it to be as simple as you carry around your identity, your Bitcoin Cash, and your tokens, which can represent anything in the virtual or real world, and you can carry it across the web. So as you go to a website, instead of needing to scan it with your phone, you can just click a button, and the UX is within a second. So I think on Satoshi Dice now, if you click a button, you'll see the transaction and then see the result of the bet in less than three seconds. Sometimes it's much quicker than that. So um, I have a list of sites that have implemented Badger Button. I'm just going to read over it. So many. Yes. So of course we mentioned uh, Satoshi Dice. It's Is that a game? Uh, Satoshi Dice. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the original Bitcoin dice game, provably oh. fair. Um, so there's a video I tried. which. Oh yeah, it's good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 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 Dry run. So yeah, you got to try it. Go to uh, satoshidice.com. That's like the canonical example. If you want to see how good the user experience is, go there and try and scan it with a phone wallet, and then go there and play with Badger Wallet, and you'll mm. see the difference. It's, it's a number of seconds. Thank you. Um, <laughs> there was a video that was out yesterday. I made it to the top of Reddit where a guy demonstrates exactly this, how great the user experience is between Satoshi Dice and uh, Badger Wallet. Mm. And you know, it's, it's, it's like an honor to me because I remember They're using your product. Yeah, yeah, and I know Satoshi Dice for years. You yeah. know, I remember Satoshi Dice from way back. So for Satoshi Dice to be using my product is a great honor for mm. sure. The next one, I feel like this one could end up being a killer app for Badger is sideshift.ai. 
So Andreas Brecken, who most people here probably know, I know Roger does for sure, was working with Paul Zork, I believe. So oh, I didn't I, know he was collaborating with Paul. Paul's well, another super genius yeah, in this space. They were working on drive chain. So yeah. they were working on drive chain and they were doing basically cross chain atomic swaps. And I think they did like a BTC to Tether or something like that. And then Eric Voorhees announced that Shapeshift was going to have KYC. So all of a sudden, everybody who's used Shapeshift a million times, like I have, I was mentioning before that I went 100% into BCH the very first week after the fork. I sold all of my Ethereum and Bitcoin via Shapeshift. So I didn't have to sign up for an account. You couldn't buy it on any other exchange. I was able to buy a bunch of it through Shapeshift. But now you have to upload your ID or passport or something. So that's going to kill the usability for a lot of people. So they created something called uh, SideShift which ha it's basically shapeshift with no KYC and they're able to do cross-chain atomic swaps and they added Badger Button. So in the context of knowing how extremely useful shapeshift was, so knowing that most people will not be able to use that anymore, they're gonna shift to something like sideshift and then knowing that they've implemented Badger Button because you know cash, Bitcoin Cash does cash so well, this to me it seems like it could be a killer app for Badger because if a bunch of people start using shapeshift and they'll be incentivized. I guess my question is if they're using Badger Button on sideshift, Mm -hmm. They're using it to send their Bitcoin cash away to buy something else? They're paying for the transaction oh. of the shift. So I think you mm. still, you know, you're probably shifting other coins. I think, like, for example, you can shift, you know, um, between Dogecoin and Litecoin or something, but you can pay in Bitcoin cash. So oh, for the fees? Yeah, exactly. Oh. So basically paying for it is done in Bitcoin cash with Badger Button. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So that just went live, I think, two days ago. Um, the next one I have is BitcoinFiles.com. So we work That's cool. I, I like this one. Yeah, we work very closely with James Kramer from the SLP team. And what's going on here is you can actually upload a file that's less than 5 KB to Bitcoin Cash, or if it's greater than that, it'll upload it to IPFS, which is the interplanetary file system, and it'll save the hash to the Bitcoin Cash blockchain. And you can pay with Badger. So just today I uploaded a picture of myself in front of... I don't exactly know where it's at, but it's in the Imperial Palace here in Japan. Um, there's like this really great picture of these huge <laughs> stones, and they, to me, are they're like big blocks. So I took a great picture in front <laughs> of that, and I uploaded it today to IPFS using BitcoinFiles.com. So that one's pretty cool. You can pay for Badger, or you can pay with Badger. Um, so this one's also really interesting. So Crave.xyz. First, let me um, zoom out here and uh, mention cash accounts. So um, anybody who last year was using the uh, hand cash wallet, knows that they introduced this thing called handles. So it was like dollar sign Gabriel. And it was a big win. Again, if the play is user experience, some people find QR codes and NFC and stuff like that confusing. So, but, but we all kind of understand email intuitively. So there was this uh, invention where they came up with dollar sign Gabriel, your username, and they mapped that to a cash address. The problem is if you send money to dollar Gabriel and you misspell it, I will not get that money and it's gone forever. Oh. So these guys. Or if they send it to underscore Gabriel yeah, or, or yeah, any exactly. fake name, you mm -hmm. won't get So watch out for fake people. I mean, I just had people contact me again today. Hey, is, is underscore, underscore, underscore Roger? <laughs> <laughs> underscore, underscore, underscore greater than? Is that your real account ID? <laughs> no, it is not. Only one account. Yeah. 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 Only one account. I only have one account. If anybody ever contacts and says, oh, this is my other account, don't believe them. Yeah, so, in yeah. a sense, like we follow each other on Twitter or no Instagram. That I'm, I keep getting like um, you know, d fake direct Rogers, messages. Huh? Yeah, yeah, there's from a lot like of fake uh, Rogers out yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> like, hey, how are you? <laughs> or like, how have you been? I'm like, that's not Roger, is it? <laughs> mm -hmm. No. So it, it didn't yeah. mean to sidetrack. No, so no, no. Be careful with, with usernames and handles yeah. out there. Yeah, I've got so much here. Please cut me off at any moment. I, of course. Keep going. No. Yeah. yeah keep so going. the idea here is that. You know, hand cash owns your handle. So if uh, they want to shut you off for some reason, or if they want to redirect your funds from Gabriel to their own thing, they could do that. I'm not saying they would, but if they, they could. So um, Rob, who previously created Tipperbot, and then Jonathan Silverblood, who created Cash ID, which is another thing that Badger has support for, um, created what they're calling cash accounts. So basically, you can register a handle in op return. And so, for example, in operator means on the blockchain stored for eternity forever. So nobody, you know, Jack Dorsey of Twitter can't come along and delete <laughs> your, your account out of the blockchain mm. there. Yeah. And so you can have mine, for example, is CG Cardona pound sign 122 because I was able to get in on that first day. Um, it's really clever how they've got this set up. So, for example, if two people try and register the same username in the same block, they are able to have a collision hash at the end, and then your checksum is a little emoji. So if you go look at mine, my checksum is a little um, bread, basically, symbol. And so the idea here is, if your wallet has cash account support, and ours will soon on, Bitcoin uh, on the Badger wallet, 
<laughs> um, you can go and just click it and it'll automatically send money to your cash account. So right now the only site I know that has this live is learnbitcoin.cash slash faucet. So they have a faucet and I went there the other day, plugged in my new cash account and they sent me, you know, a couple cents in Satoshi's. So that's pretty awesome. So that brings me back to this crave.xyz. Basically you can go to this site now and you can say I want to register this username and this block and you can pay for it with Badger Button. That's where I was headed. And then when that block uh, rolls around, they will reserve your username for you. So that one's pretty cool. Uh, the next cool. one we got is Cashy, okay. no, no worries, Cashy.tools. So this was also created by James Kramer and his team. Yeah, shout out to James and his team yeah. over the, you know, what is his name, the SLP group? Or yeah, what, simple, what you call simple them? ledger. Wow, um, okay, yeah, this is so, this so much new information. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he's, James is like one of the best engineers in the space. So one of the things I try and do personally and what I really look out for is people who have an oversized impact on the ecosystem or whatever they do in their job. That's really what you want to look for, right? The mythical 10x programmer or whatever. You want to find somebody who is accomplishing orders of magnitude than more than anybody else. And, and to me, James falls in that group. I work with him every single day. And he is, he's a top quality engineer. So James, if you're watching this. Thanks thank for you. the candy, James. <laughs> 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 yeah, so Cache and Tools is basically uh, an online website where you can create your own pay to script hash <laughs> templates and you can share them with the world. And they have an Oracle API and all kinds of other stuff. You can buy your calculator time on there with Badger. That's live today. I checked that out. Uh, next is greenpages.cash. So this is community managed Bitcoin cash dir uh, merchant directory. So kind of like Marco Coino and the other ones which exist. This is just a big list of uh, merchants and services and bands and artists and everybody else who accept crypto and you can tip all of them with uh, Badger Button and Bitcoin Cash. Of course, we all know CoinSpice. They're like an emerging media uh, team around the Bitcoin Cash ecosystem. Hayden and a whole other bunch of guys. Great really news quality over yeah, there, yeah. Really awesome guys. You could, they were the very first people that I know of that set a Badger Button donate on their website and they put a whole blog post. I worked with him late one night, like 2.30 a.m. here in Tokyo about how to always show a dollar uh, worth of Satoshis. Basically, I helped him write that code, so that's live. And then paybutton.cash we just announced uh, with Super Nerd. And then ultimately, we have a very aggressive roadmap. So our intention is we want Badger Wallet to be the very best uh, wallet in the ecosystem. We think of Bitcoin Cash as significant as the web. And if you are running a web browser from 2000 and you're running a web browser from today, it's clear the difference. And you need a modern web browser to experience the modern web. So we feel the same thing with Bitcoin Cash. It has so many different compelling features. You need a wallet that can take advantage of them. Mm. So we have BIP70, which is on our roadmap. We're going to be doing cash accounts. Cash Shuffle, which is different than coin mixing. You can mix your transactions together and get obfuscation for privacy. We're going to be doing multi-sig. And then most importantly, you'll be able to create tokens from within Badger. So we're hoping that. So let, let's emphasize that you'll be able to create, anyone will be able to easily mm -hmm. with just a couple of clicks create their own token right there from in the Badger wallet and then really? send and so receive tokens. Really? So can I create like Asuka coin? You can yes, create your absolutely. Asuka coin right oh, from cool. inside the Badger mm. wallet and then you can sell it on, uh, oh, on Twitch oh, for the QR code. I want to make a money by mm. doing ICO. <laughs> yes, there it is. That's what we hope. I, I mean, know. there's been $28 <laughs> billion. What, what value do people get from, uh, what can they buy with your coin? Oh, they can, I don't know, shake hand with me or, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, no, no. <laughs> no <laughs> handshaking. I'm going to come up with like, something uh, much better, of course, obviously. Yeah, yeah. premium content, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what <laughs> most people <laughs> Premium content. Premium content. Yeah, <laughs> like weekly, weekly streams or something like that. But <laughs> basically, we really, you know, there's been $28 billion raised 20. in the past four years in token sales. Uh, most of it happened in the last 18 months, really, so wow. last two years. So. Um, you know, the Bitcoin ecosystem, starting with BTC and all of the forks of it, really missed out on what I call the Tocambrian explosion. Big time missed out. Yeah. Big so time uh, missed out. So, yeah, I mean. They intentionally sabotaged the people that are trying to build tokens absolutely. on. So there's this great group of guys over uh, building a platform called Counterparty. So mm -hmm. Robbie DeMori, and I, I forget the other guy's names now because it's been a long time. And the blockstream guys intentionally sabotaged their attempt at making tokens on Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. And so all this crazy ICO stuff that went on and all that economic activity would have happened on BTC if it hadn't been for the block stream and core small block guys oh, intentionally wow. sabotaging it on top of BTC. And so mm -hmm. anybody Sable. that's been around for a while watched it happen. All the people that are new to Bitcoin, they just figure, or new to cryptocurrency, just figure, oh, of course it happened on Ethereum. Like Vitalik would have done it on BTC if it mm -hmm. wasn't for these guys. So instead he had to go out and make Ethereum specifically so he could do all this. And mm -hmm. that's the end of my token rant, but all of it's alive and well and coming here on a, on Bitcoin Cash. Thanks to people like, you know, Gabriel and James and yeah. all these, uh, you know, people out there just doing awesome, awesome, awesome stuff to make Bitcoin Cash usable for the world. And I, I don't know if it was in your notes or I saw somewhere you wrote like, tokens aren't competitive to cash, they're complementary. Like the, yeah. the tokens on Bitcoin Cash make the cash of Bitcoin Cash 
even more useful. So th it's complementary, not competitive in that respect. Sure, and the thing about Ethereum is that every single node executes every smart contract. So the famous example is CryptoKitties, which I think is an absolutely amazing app because of the underlying technology, these non-fungible tokens, tokens which have a single representation across the entire system. When CryptoKitties blew up that very week, uh, the price of a transaction on the Ethereum spiked over 10,000%. Bitcoin Cash has scale and throughput for days. Today, we have 32 megabyte blocks, which is largest PayPal. Nobody's going to tell you that PayPal does not have scale. Um, on our roadmap is terabyte blocks. We want uh, 10 billion people to be able to do 50 on-chain transactions every single day, and that's totally possible within our lifetime and much before that. And Pretty quickly, actually. Yeah, so, exactly. And I, I want to clarify in like layman's English what the difference is. Like, <laughs> we, we love Ethereum. We love anything yeah. that works. Anything that's useful and gives people more economic freedom and more control over their lives, we love. Mm -hmm. Ethereum is great, but if you look at the way Ethereum is designed, mm -hmm. Every single node on Ethereum has to validate every single transaction happening on the Ethereum network with their tokens, right? So like, it sounds if like so much hustle. Right. <laughs> so with Bitcoin Cash, your node only has to validate the transactions that it cares about with okay. for your tokens, right? Mm -hmm. Which means if a zillion people out there in the world are doing a zillion different things with tokens, mm -hmm. your node can just ignore all of that and just focus on the tokens that you care about, mm -hmm. which gives oh. Bitcoin Cash a whole lot more scalability when it comes to tokens. Because again, Ethereum has to validate every single token transaction. Mm -hmm. Bitcoin Cash doesn't. You only have to pay attention to the ones that are you know, concern you. Yeah, I mean, I only care about what I, what I care, right? So. Mm -hmm. That's right, and we only care about what we care about. Mm -hmm. so. I don't care about what I don't care. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, um, yeah. So, so that's it. We hope that cattle, uh, we hope that uh, Badger and SLP tokens together can be a s catalyst for what we're calling the tokenbrain explosion. So we want to see people tokenize everything and do it on Bitcoin Cash. And so Gabriel made his own notes for the show, which are separate from uh, Chris's <laughs> notes that he makes for us every week. And th thank you, Chris, for making the notes every week. But, uh, like Gabriel's notes are much, much denser in two pages. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and because the, the font is so small on these, uh, we skipped over another <laughs> awesome one that we should talk about. Mm -hmm. And no better person to talk about it than uh, you, Gabriel, I think. is uh, Tell us about Avalanche. Oh, wow. So this is real exciting. So um, th the team that created it is called Team Rocket. Uh, I think they're anonymous, but I know um, Emin Goon Sarir. Uh, Cornell professor, yeah. super sharp and super nice guy. One yeah. of the co-authors of the Selfish Mining paper with Peter Risen several years ago. Uh, I saw him give a presentation on it in Milan, so I know he's at least advising this team. And then Chris Pasilla from... Open Bazaar, yeah, bringing Open Bazaar. economic freedom to the world yeah. with Open Bazaar. And BCHD, so they have a Bitcoin Cash full node, which they wrote and go. Um, and then ZQuest C, Josh Elthorpe is helping him. Another superstar, 10x developer, 100x yeah, developer. Just get stuff done. So yeah. these guys get things done. Thank you guys. So there's like a new family of... Um, algorithms, I believe there's four of them. One of them is called Avalanche and then the entire family of them is called Avalanche. And I will probably not do the justice that do it justice that it deserves. There's actually a really great um, video that came out like two days ago from the creator of Dogecoin, Jackson Palmer, which is like 15 minutes where he- No, no, that video didn't come out two days ago. I, I posted it two uh, days okay. ago. He, and Jackson Palmer, like his whole YouTube channel is filled with interesting yeah. videos. So like, yeah. thank you, Jackson. Like, I was searching for different things multiple times and his videos came out. I was looking for a video on YubiKeys and he has a uh, video on YubiKeys. Yeah. Anyhow, What's thank Yubi you. Keys? We're gonna give you one right after the show. <laughs> if you don't have a YubiKey in your life, I think What's it's one of the most- <laughs> Underrated, like useful yeah. pieces of technology. No, it's it's a physical key. Does someone have a Yubi key off screen somewhere? Anyhow, I'll, I'll we'll sh we'll show you. I'll show you my Yubi key after the show. Okay, so. Yubi key. Mm -hmm. sounds, um, sounds like Japanese word. Yeah. I think it might be. It. For those Yubi who don't know, Yubi key means promise. Oh, Yubi key. Oh yeah. Yubi yeah. yeah. key. means promise. Oh, Yubi key. Mm -hmm. Yubi key. Yubi means finger in Japanese. Yeah. So yeah. I, I think oh, key is like kagi. Yubi kagi. Right? Yeah, ah. finger key is what I assumed it meant, but key. anyhow, mm -hmm. I think it's ah, key. No key. Key. Yeah, but because you use your finger. Um, but I, I think it's actually a Swedish company. There's your Japanese lesson for the show. The <laughs> <laughs> your word for the day is yubi, right? Does yubi. it yubi key finger. means finger. So mm -hmm. if you want to know how to say finger in Japanese, no, you just know. think of your yubi key. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Avalanche, yeah. Jackson Palmer's video is great. Watch it. Yeah. Uh, so the super high level is there are uh, there's like this new pre-consensus method where um, I believe again and it doesn't replace proof of yeah. work at all. Like there's yeah. a bunch of people spreading fud on the internet. Mm -hmm. This does not change the proof of me work mechanism or the blocks or anything about that. Yep. It just lets you know for sure in advance what transactions are going to be in a block so that you mm -hmm. can be guaranteed within about a second mm -hmm. that your transaction. Here we found oh, some unit keys, right? So <gasps> this one. One for you. Thank you. Hold it up for the camera. These are YubiKeys. So the way this works. Oh, Have oh. you ever used Google Authenticator before? 
Yeah. Yeah. So see, she knows you Google Authentic this can replace Google Authenticator. Oh. So instead of having to scroll through your big list of Google Authenticator, mm -hmm. you you it put in your to. username, your password, and then you put your finger oh, around the Oh, that'd be so easy. Yep. Much easier Sorry, than I don't have to remember all the passwords for like different services and platforms. Yeah. Well, you still have a normal password plus this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Plus it has superior security because whenever you use something like Google Authenticator, they have to. Keep some type of key on their server so they can generate that same exact number as yeah, you. In this particular right. case, it's you know it's on here. Yeah. And an, another thing, so I want to talk about adoption around the world. So uh, I contacted uh, Ubico, the company behind YubiKeys, myself six months ago maybe, and told them, hey, we want to buy a bunch more YubiKeys, but we want to pay in Bitcoin Cash. So thanks to me and Bitcoin.com, you can now buy your YubiKeys in Bitcoin Cash over at Ubico. Dot com, I think, is their website. Just Google, Google YubiKey and you'll be able to see it. Mm. Or purse.io on Amazon, 20% off the yeah, Amazon. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, but yeah, Bitcoin Cash works great for payments. And yeah. the YubiKey company knows it. And you can pay for your YubiKeys in Bitcoin Cash. Awesome. Avalanche, what's yeah. next? So yeah, why is Avalanche significant? Because um, it allows uh, it allows you to have some 99 and some number of nines uh, confirm, uh, you know, Guarantee of yeah, yeah guarantee the transaction will be in the next block. Yeah, it's not going to get double spent in a number of matter of seconds. So literally today, it's not even a matter of seconds. It's about a second and a half yeah. is where they're at, and mm -hmm. they think they can get it significantly faster than yep. that even. So like, in less than a second, you'll basically be guaranteed plenty safe enough that your transaction is going to be in the next block. It's not going to be replaced by someone paying a higher fee. Right, and so you know, right now today, again, I I also love Ethereum, so I'm not taking a shot at Ethereum. I'm kind of just using it as a metric. So today, an Ethereum block is around 17 seconds, and that's very fast if you work seconds. in the blockchain space. Mm -hmm. You know, this is 10 times faster than that. So again, oh, if wow. the play is user experience and if the play is merchant adoption, you want to be able to go in and pay for something, no matter the amount, and have zero conf happen in a second and be able to walk out knowing that your transaction is not going to be double spent. This is absolutely a game changer. Peter Thiel, who was one of the creators of uh, PayPal, uh, PayPal mm -hmm. and then one of the Ooh. guys who initially backed Zuckerberg, and he's part of the Singularity Foundation. Very, 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 very sharp guy. PayPal gang. Yeah, exactly. He's part of the PayPal Mafia. So, um, you know, his big thing is that w your solution has to be an order of magnitude better. It has to be 10x or better. In this particular yes. case, it literally is 10x. Bitcoin Cash, you're going to confirmation. I don't even know what the right word is for, but like yeah. a surety that your transaction is going to go through and not going to be double spent is going to be like 10x mm -hmm. what the user experience is on Ethereum at this point, and the scalability is I at least 10x as well. Right. Yeah. Um, and we love Ethereum. This isn't a shot. We love anything that works, and if mm -hmm. we can make things that work better and better year after year, that's great. We love it. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. Avalanche is incredibly exciting. Go check out avalanche.bchd.cash today. They have an explorer up. And um, they're I was showing at it today. It's pretty neat. Yeah. It shows you the amount of time for each transaction for the avalanche. Like, there's a whole process that it gets to like get pre consensus about what's going to be in the block. And it shows you the time it's taking for each transaction. And at the moment, it's like about a second and a half. And you know what's funny? Um, I checked it out multiple times today because my mind is just so blown by this. And at one point, I went there and it, for, I don't know why, I have no idea what's going on behind the scenes, but it was at like 15 <laughs> seconds. And I thought, wow, I wonder what's taking so long. And so it just shows how fast you can adjust yourself to something. You know, in one day I became used to Bitcoin Cash transactions going through in one and a half seconds. So when I saw 15, I was like, what's taking so long? So even though there's a lot of people right now who are maybe questioning Avalanche or there's a lot of FUD being spread around about how they're trying to phase out proof of work to do proof of stake or whatever the meme is, um, it's not true. And as soon as people experience one and a half second confirmations, it's going to catch on like wildfire, no question. Of course. So I, I guess the, only, the biggest problem is probably like the, the, the terminology, like what what mm -hmm. word do we use for the avalanche, like pre-consensus right. agreement mm -hmm. for what's going to be in the block? And uh, mm -hmm. I feel like there should be a separate word for that sort of confirmation versus recorded in a block, written sure. in a blockchain confirmation. And sure. I don't know. If, if, if you have an idea for the terminology, put it, put it in the comments below, right? Mm -hmm. what, what should the avalanche consensus finality be called versus mm -hmm. the included in a block and the blockchain finality be called? Like, we need some good terminology no, not it, not for that. No, huh? Avalanche means uh, uh, avalanche means Nadare in Japanese. Nadare? Nadare. Maybe that's the word. Yeah. We already <laughs> used Satoshi's for, yeah. the, for the smallest unit. Maybe that's Nadare true. will be like when the, <laughs> when the avalanche like process tsunami is done. Like tsunami and you know, Nadare. That'll be the, you know. I, I learned a new word today, too. I did not know the word in Nadare? Japanese for oh. avalanche. Yeah, Nadare. So that's Nadare. my, my yes. lesson for today. No, it's like a snow. Um, like, um, like snow tsunami, right? Avalanche. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nadare. Snow tsunami. <laughs> that's a great way of describing <laughs> avalanche. Yeah, Nadare. So, ah. Uh, more great news of adoption of Bitcoin Cash around the world. 
Uh, Blockchain.com, uh, the most popular cryptocurrency wallet in the entire world. Mm -hmm. Watch out, Badger Wallet and Bitcoin.com is coming for you. But currently, mm -hmm. and I, I'm, I'm the biggest single shareholder in Blockchain.com. So <laughs> I'm just fine with that. Bias. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, I love Blockchain.com. We still, at Bitcoin.com, we still use a Blockchain.com. It used to be the Blockchain.info. We still use a Blockchain.com wallet for all sorts of stuff that we're up to. I uh, think it was the first well. wallet I ever had other than the full node. It's um, probably, yeah, it's probably the first yeah. wallet other than a full node that lots of people yeah. had. I think 30 something million wallets over there. Yeah. Uh, fantastic team, fantastic stuff. Uh, I was talking with them last night and this morning. Like I, I still am in touch with them. Uh, they've just added their Bitcoin Cash Block Explorer right there nice. to their front page. Nice. Uh, fantastic job. And uh, I have to admit, uh, it's better and nicer than our Bitcoin.com block explorer. Like mm -hmm. Blockchain.com has a really nice block explorer, mm -hmm. and it's something for us to uh, to strive towards. To, uh, sure. Watch out on that front too. We're going to build a better Bitcoin Cash block explorer. <laughs> uh, but your block, the block explorer over there is great. Their wallet is great. Uh, does BTC, BCH, and uh, Ethereum, of course, all on even footing over there. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, so this just really speaks to adoption. <clears throat> so you know, I think it's very, very. Most people get tripped up on price. Um, a lot of us work in this ecosystem, so we've kind of dialed that noise out. And myself, because I work on engineering and I deal with engineering people all day long, despite the price, there's no question in my mind that the tide is rising because I see development happening every single day and adoption happening every single day. So for example, in this past week, uh, Bitbox SDK got over 1,500 downloads. So let's, let's pause that. In this last week, yes. the Bitbox SDK, SDK which right. is a software developer kit for people to do things on Bitcoin Cash, right. With this SDK, mm -hmm. how many downloads in the last week? I think 1,534. So <gasps> over 200 people wow. a day mm -hmm. are downloading this. That means 200 software developers a day mm -hmm. are downloading this tool to build apps on Bitcoin Cash, to build tokens oh, wow. on Bitcoin Cash, yeah. to build things in the Bitcoin Cash ecosystem. The Bitcoin Cash ecosystem is really, really expanding. And they're downloading it today. They're releasing tomorrow. So right. just wow. wait as the time yeah. goes so by and they have time too. to work on it. More and more fun, awesome applications are going to become available on the Bitcoin Cash ecosystem. Yeah, so we had 1,500 downloads for Bitbox. We had 1,300 okay. downloads for SLP SDK. We just launched it last week. Um, it's I been out a week, and it's getting over yeah. a couple hundred downloads a day just by yesterday. developers. No normal yeah. person at home is going to be downloading this. The only type of people that would download this are hardcore software developers. <laughs> so as much as we love having Oscar and Komugi on the show, yeah. they're not going to be downloading the software developer kits to do stuff here. Mm -hmm. These are hardcore software developers downloading yep. it. They're going to be building awesome apps on the Bitcoin Cash ecosystem. So mm -hmm. it shouldn't be underestimated just how big a deal it is that it's getting that much traction and that many downloads for something that only the nerdiest of the nerdy software developers would want to download. Like, this is a big deal. So just yesterday, rest.bitcoin.com got over 120,000 requests. So, you in know, a single day. Three quarter of a million in the last week. So yeah, that's, th you know, let's say 125,000 people yesterday made some type of request to the Bitcoin Cash blockchain just using our service. You know, presumably there's like a long tail and we have most of the traffic, but there's a second and a third player. I'm sure there are because 18 people have forked our code base and a lot of people run it locally because we make our stuff open source. So again, as he mentioned, they're building it today, but they're going to launch it tomorrow. Um, there were several projects that people didn't want me to announce today because they're not ready. So, you know, there's so much exciting stuff. I don't want to- Give us a uh, hint. Uh, be, yeah. Being able to sign into an exchange using your Badger uh, wallet. Ooh. So one of the great things that, uh, so the same guys who came up with cash accounts created something called Cash ID. So the problem here is, everybody has a different password for every single different website. So most yeah. people reuse their passwords, that's what leads to getting hacked. Mm -hmm. That's why you have uh, things like LastPass or 1Password, which are password managers, which are awesome if you're not using one you should be. But the next step is being able to sign in and authenticate with uh, your Bitcoin Cash private keys. So you can do that today with Badger. So there's an exchange which is getting ready to launch. I asked the guy if I could mention it today. He didn't get back to me, so I'm gonna respect his privacy. So e tune in next week to yeah. find out Everybody which would which know the name if I said it right now. So there's a very popular exchange which is gonna allow you to sign in. Finance. And then, uh, I'm not <laughs> saying. And then I saw another one today which is launching in two weeks. So Stack Overflow is extremely popular. You, there's tons of these websites you can go on and ask any type if of question. If you're a software developer, you know Stack yeah, Overflow. Yeah, absolutely. So, I, so to just today, somebody did demoed something for me, which is a Stack Overflow type site with Bitcoin Cash bounties, and you can sign in and create your account with Badger Button. Wow. And I did it. So it's the first time I went to a site and clicked it and it created my account. And I set my. It's just a challenge response. Yeah, type exactly. thing. They, they give you something. They sign this with your private key to yep. prove it's you, and then you sign it, and yep. you're in. So you never have a password. Um, you just have to use your Badger Wallet. So yeah, tons, that tons, so tons easy. of exciting. It is. Mm -hmm. So again, UX is what we want. User experience. That's the win, and that's what we're shooting for. So speaking of user experience uh, and good things, so I just made a video about it earlier today. So cashgames.bitcoin.com. 
You can take your Bitcoin.com wallet or a Badger wallet or whatever wallet you want, your blockchain.info wallet, mm -hmm. um, even your Coinbase bank wallet, but be careful with that because they might ban you uh, mm -hmm. because like a lot of people like, although I, you know what, I don't think it made it into our news in the notes, but I saw something about Coinbase released an actual wallet, not mm -hmm. a custodial wallet. And uh, like, that's a really, 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 yeah. really big deal. That should be an actual wallet. Yeah, like shout out to Brian. Wallet. Yeah, shout out to Brian, one of the earliest, you know, Bitcoin adopters and users out there. You have a great quote from him in one of your speeches. I don't know if you know it off the top of your head, but I've seen you, one of your slides is like, It says, digital currencies are one of the best tools the world has ever seen to yeah. achieve more economic freedom. If we can achieve this, the implications are profound. Mm -hmm. It could lift billions of people out of poverty and improve mm -hmm. the lives of, you know, billions of people around the world. Or and and that speech is great lines. because you show like, more economic freedom leads to higher quality of life. So there's less child mortality, there's less pollution, there's less um, corruption in government. So the, com the countries around the world which have greater economic freedom have higher quality of life. And if uh, you say it really good in your speech, I love it. If you want things like life extension, if you want things like people off the planet, uh, you know, all the great, if you want the singularity. If you want well, anything we, that's interesting yeah, here, right? we, we want more economic freedom. So yeah, mm. uh, Coinbase yeah. is awesome. In fact, I, I believe in all my many years in crypto, I have never actually used a two fiat gateway other than Coinbase. So they've been solid to me for many, many years. <laughs> I got love for those guys. And that's a perfect tie-in. So it's been a couple of weeks since we had Asuka and Komugi here. Uh, yeah. We oh, bought for them oh. using Bitcoin Cash, a copy <laughs> of Economics in One Lesson. Nice. And I, I feel bad. I, I in made Japanese. Yeah, in Japanese. In yeah. Japanese for them. Yeah. And I made a mistake like a couple of weeks ago when we were on the show talking about it. Like I, I misread the cover here. I thought it said economic <laughs> lies. Um, what does it say? It says economic um, le lesson. lesson. And, and somewhere uh, there's lesson. like small print that mm -hmm. maybe it doesn't even say. I don't think it says in one anywhere in there. But I anyhow, economic lies would have been a good title for the book too, <laughs> because it talks about all these economic lies that are propagated in the mainstream media. Like war is good for the economy. It mm -hmm. absolutely is not. Like stop mm -hmm. and think about it. Building a bunch of bombs and then using those bombs to blow up other things all those resources and time and effort and money could have been used to build cars and houses and grow food and, and clothes for people to wear. Mm, so true. how on earth can anybody be fooled into thinking that blowing things up makes the world a richer place? No, blowing things up makes less stuff in the world, which means the world is a less wealthy place. So mm -hmm. here's a gift to both of you guys. Economics oh, in one lesson thank you, in Roger. Japanese. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. uh, we bought this with Bitcoin Cash on purse.io at like, I don't know, 15 or 17% off or somewhere in that ballpark. Awesome. Um, Makoto again helped us with that. Thank you, Makoto, off camera. There, uh, Makoto's yeah. a legend. Massive shout out to Makoto. Yep. And uh, <laughs> as, as you have time, uh, we'd love to you know hear back in future yeah, weeks like what you think of the book and what yeah. you learned from it and, and the things there. And actually, I, I, I want I want to address some of the trolls that are out there on the internet. That, to be honest, I think a lot of them are probably paid propagandists to like attack Bitcoin Cash because mm -hmm. it has a shot so it's, it's a at bringing more scam. economic freedom to the world. Sure. I think some of them are paid. But like I want to ask, speaking of people being paid to attack things, sales. Were you paid to be here today? No. Have I ever paid you anything to do anything with anything? No, not yet. Komugi, were you paid <laughs> no, to be here today? Oh yeah. Have I ever paid you to do anything at all, ever? Mm? Um, have I ever paid you any money to do anything? <laughs> I paid. I paid. I paid you? No, have I paid you? No, no, no. She didn't understand. What does she cut her mouth? No, 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 no. I speak too quickly. Yeah, it's fine. No, because they are too sharp. You know. So to be clear, so neither of them are paid to be here today or any of the other times they've ever come. Gabriel, did I pay you to be here today? No, no. What do you mean, no? <laughs> yeah, he pays my salary. Yeah. So, the, so the, pay, the people that are paid to be here are the exact ones that all the trolls on the internet don't complain about. So mm -hmm. the people who they claim are, oh, they're just paid to be here. They weren't paid anything to be here. So Gabriel and I are the only ones that are paid to be here. So um, yeah, I came here, just you wanted know, to address that. by my own decision to learn about more about Bitcoin Cash and economic freedom. Yeah. And how long have you been interested in cryptocurrencies? Since last summer. Last summer, so there you go. I'm pretty new, so you know. And I, I speak really quickly in, in English, and I'm sorry for that. But <laughs> sorry, sorry. Komugi, how long have you been interested in cryptocurrencies? Uh, like over one year. Over one year, and mm -hmm. Komugi speaks Japanese much better than her English. She has an entire channel devoted to cryptocurrencies, mm -hmm. and you can hear her talking all about it in Japanese on her channel. And we'll put another link to that in the description below. Any anything you want to add about your involvement in cryptocurrencies? Oh. Nanka hoku no cryptocurrency no kanke no. Ah, about myself. Yeah, you well. and your involvement. Ah, yeah. Now I'm writing a book about cryptocurrency, so I will release the book. So I want to teach some more 
cryptocurrency to the beginners. Yeah. So I'm still learning for it and mm -hmm. writing for it. That's so cool. She's, she's an author now. She's a book on <laughs> cryptocurrencies here in Japan. So. Mm. Roger, have you published any books? No. no? Oh, I, I, I co-authored a book previously, but... Uh, but you could, right? I mean... If I had some time. Yeah. <laughs> the time's mm, the hard part. do it. And to be honest, I, I think I'm a better talker than a better than a writer. But well, uh, I mean, you can talk, and then somebody, you know, can like oh, yeah, dictate right, like mm -hmm. what you say. Yeah. I think what what. Yoroshiku. You know. Okay. It's a bit hard. Really hard. What else do we have going in here? In our, in our oh, so things that you, good user experience. We were going to tie in. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, economics in one lesson. And if you don't have this book yourself, I really highly recommend it. And uh, maybe we'll start doing future, you know, book recommendations. This book I read as a, a teenager, and it really. So you got inspired by this book and then... Well, it changed the whole way I viewed the world because they oh. teach you in school and in the economy, they're like, war is good for the economy. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's what they teach you in school. And, like, and like they, when you're a little kid, they teach you Santa Claus is real. When mm -hmm. I was a little kid, I believed Santa Claus was real. Mm -hmm. When I was a little kid, they taught me that war was good for the economy, so I believed war was good for the economy. When I got a little bit older, I thought, wait a minute. How is a fat guy going to fit down the chimney? <laughs> and once he's down the chimney, <laughs> how the heck is he going to get back up it? And so that is I so know. That's so true. That's so true. Yeah. And in Japan, don't they don't even kids. have chimneys. But don't tell your kids <laughs> yeah. until they're old enough. In Japan, they don't even have chimneys. So how does Santa no. handle that, right? We so, don't. So you start thinking about it and like, yeah, if Santa doesn't make sense and like you believe, you mm -hmm. figure out that Santa's not real. Well, if you don't have as much of a reason to stop and think like, well, war is good for the economy. Okay, you don't think well, about that. Well, I mean, uh, we, we learned that at school. In Japan, do they teach you that war is good yes. for the economy? Oh, you know, after World War II, Japan got devastated, right? Yeah. And then mm -hmm. we recovered so quickly because there was the war in Korean Peninsula. And then mm -hmm. Japanese uh, manufacturer, they, sent, they sold um, clothes and weapons. He I'm actually not addresses maybe. that in that very book. <laughs> yeah. Because he says, like, if that were the case, then they would just destroy all the destroy it yourself. in the United States. Yeah, right, like yeah. If, if, yeah. If blowing up your stuff makes you richer, blow it up yourself. <laughs> why, right. do you, why do you need a foreign country to come in and <laughs> blow it up for you? Yeah. So, right. Yeah. So I think that's another lie. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and maybe too bad Henry Hazlitt's no longer alive. I think he died in the 90s or something. But maybe mm. that could have been the next title for his book is Economic Lies. Because mm. It's actually called Economics in One Lesson, but I think Economic Lies would be a great name mm. for, for, for the book as well. So. Women fooled. Yeah. So uh, anyhow, I want to do, uh, I guess, a little bit of a promotion for our cashgames.bitcoin.com. You can play poker, blackjack, mm -hmm. roulette, mm. dice, <coughs> slots, this and that, anything you want, uh, as long as you're not in the USA. Mm -hmm. uh, try it today. You'll have a fantastic user experience. The, the <coughs> deposit process takes less than a second. You send the money from your phone or your computer to the website, boom, a pop-up comes right away there. You can deposit and play instantly and you can withdraw uh, right away. No registration required whatsoever. 100% provably fair uh, as well. So uh, give that a try. Other big news at Bitcoin.com this week, uh, our wallet surpassed three and a half million wow. wallets created on the Bitcoin.com wow. wallet. Yeah. That is a That's lot of wallets. Huge. Three and a, to the three and a half million people that created wallets out there. Actually, I, I need to correct that a little bit. It's somewhere around three million people who've really? traded around three and a half million wallets. So mm. it's not necessarily one one person per wallet. Mm -hmm. uh, this number is both. But we know for sure we've had uh, around three million downloads across the different platforms there. So, That's crazy. Uh, so thank you to all of you out there. And uh, That's such a significant moment. You know, picture three million people in your mind. That's a huge that's number. A that's huge, right. huge, that's huge, huge. Like if you're from San Francisco, that's that's like three times the number of people in all of San Francisco. Or if you're from San Jose, that's like three times the number of people from all of San Jose. That's yep. a lot of people. Yep. Um, so that's thank one you all. One-fourth of Tokyo. Yeah, yeah, Tokyo is the biggest yeah. metropol so metropolitan one, one, area in the world. But it's still like one-fourth of you know, people who live in yeah. Tokyo. Mm -hmm. so. And actually, mm -hmm. if you count the Tokyo metropolitan area, which like all the suburbs, like yeah. this is what's stunning. It's not that big of an area. It's like the size of like the, the you know the Silicon Valley like South Bay area, yeah. mm -hmm. more people live in this Tokyo metropolitan area than the entire state of California. Oh wow, wow. Mm. that's pretty crazy. More than all yeah. of LA and, and Sacramento and San Diego and San Jose and like more than all yeah. of the entire state of California will live in like the Tokyo metropolitan mm. area. And it's so nice and clean here, and people yeah. have yeah, such a so level crowded, of respect right? for everybody else. Yeah, it's a very unique city. Mm. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't tried the, the Bitcoin.com wallet yet, head mm -hmm. on over to wallet.bitcoin.com today. It's absolutely free. You don't have to give your name. You don't have to give your email. You don't have your tax. You don't have to give your tax ID number. 
You can now buy Bitcoin Cash mm -hmm. kind of right within the wallet, and very, very soon here you'll be able to automatically have it buy more Bitcoin Cash. Every time you spend some mm, to nice. buy candy or do whatever else, mm -hmm. it'll automatically buy more Bitcoin Cash for you right within the wallet there. And it has Marco Coino bundled now, right? Yeah. And so not just Marco Coino, some other companies as well. So basically you can spend your <coughs> Bitcoin Cash from within the wallet. It'll literally show a map. You can find physical places yeah. on a map near where you live yeah. uh, to spend your Bitcoin Cash. And if you don't see any, uh, tell your local businesses that you frequent, hey, Add this to your, uh, add your company to this Marco Coino app so other people know that they can spend their Bitcoin Cash at your shop. And then the store owner can take the Bitcoin Cash, spend it on purse.io to get 20% off every single thing from Amazon because everyone's shopping on Amazon already and have yeah. um, fantastic uh, update. And more updates are coming to our wallet, including, uh, I guess we can announce today for the first time, we just kind of decided for sure to do it very recently, but 100% uh, full native apps for both iOS and uh, Android are coming this year to mm -hmm. the Bitcoin.com wallet. So you'll have oh. an even better user experience than you have today. So that's that's coming uh, this year as well. That's great. Right. Uh, Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. That's a, a big step. And yeah. uh, mm. it sh it'll be smooth. So if you like this video and content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, share with a friend, and put your comments below, which leads us right into the comments from, from last week. Was, was there any other topics that you wanted to cover, Gabriel, for um, this week? You know, I think we're good. The main things I just wanted to kind of give those numbers, which I did, 1,500 downloads for BitBox, 1,300 for SLP, and then, uh, you know, 125,000 requests just in 24 hours on arrest. So, again, despite the price, um, from my viewpoint, it's obvious to me that the tide is rising simply because I see so much adoption every single day. Mm. And we're hitting an inflection point, in my opinion. So, you know... Again, I, I, I really hope that Badger and SLP can be a, a catalyst for the entire ecosystem, and I think we're witnessing it because there's just so many cool projects coming out. Mm -hmm. So that's my And if, if you're thinking of doing a token for your project, please take a look at uh, SLP. Go mm -hmm. over to developer.bitcoin.com. We have all the tools there that make it super, super easy for you. And uh, bitcoin.com, of course, is going to be supporting the heck out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't speak publicly for blockchain.com, but remember, I'm the largest single shareholder over there, and I'll just mm -hmm. leave that as a hint uh, as well mm -hmm. uh, for tokens in relation to that. Mm -hmm. uh, lots and lots and lots are happening. Yeah, we uh, have a Discord channel, which I think has over 400 developers in it right now. It's incredibly active. So if you're a developer, my Twitter handle is CG Cardona, my Gmail, uh, my work <laughs> email is Gabriel at Bitcoin. Reach out to me so that I can pull you into our developer chat room. We're hacking 24 seven, seven days a week, so hit yeah. us up. And, and Komugi and Asuka haven't been with us for a couple of weeks. Uh, anything exciting in your world or questions? Or what, what are you most excited about in the Bitcoin Cash world at the moment? Oh, not particularly about Bitcoin Cash, but I was at a conference called um, Japan oh. Blockchain Conference. Yeah. Yeah. Last week, I think, right? Yeah, I think that was last week. And um, I, I was doing an interview for like different people, like uh, Charles Hoskins, Hoskinson and mm -hmm. Craig Wright and that kind of pe pe people. And then the, the Bitcoin.com had a boost, yeah, so yeah. I went there to look for Roger and Corbin, but mm -hmm. they weren't there. Cor they they skipped it. They yeah. skipped it. <laughs> Corbin's in Thailand, and I, I, I was busy. He just didn't want to, you know, let's know. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. We'll invite you to our next conference, and you can help out uh, and say hello at the next conference. How about that? Oh, I'm yeah. not planning anything, but. Well, when there is, so. Yeah. And Kamugi, when, oh. when are you going to start paying for your English lessons in Bitcoin Cash? <laughs> and, uh, no, mm, mm, and so some people send me some Bitcoin Cash. Yeah, oh, that's right. Right. Yeah, I, I have some to some too. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> I have to, uh, <laughs> yeah, I want to appreciate that. Yeah, thank you so yeah, much. So thank some you. people, yeah, like, um, like some more, more than 10 people like mm -hmm. that, yeah, sent me some Bitcoin yes. Cash. So thank you so much. So actually now here, here's the competition. Oh, what? Who, which one of you two received more Bitcoin cash from the fans? Mm -hmm. No, for sure. I, don't, I, don't I think like, we need to start like a contest for this right, right now. now. We I have need like to set everybody up with cash accounts so that you can plug your... Yeah, right handle, now. you know, yeah, ask right or now. handle People community or something <gasps> like that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think we're going to have to start a contest to see uh, mm -hmm. who gets the most donations out of everybody on the show each week mm -hmm. for what they say. I have a feeling that you and I are going to lose, Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all on the show. I think Roger is going to win. I don't know about that. I think so. So... Or he was selling his own Bitcoin cash to yeah, himself. That's true. People can cheat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. I will win after yeah. all. We'll see. I mean, you guys are you know, smarter, obviously. So we'll, we'll see. But we'll we're prettier. We'll so. So. <laughs> Sorry. So just a that, fact. That, so that, that's interesting. Just a fact, she yeah, says. Just so just I, a fact. I, I have an interesting question we were talking about. Or we were looking. So I guess, do we want to hint about what we have going on with Twitch and, and future stuff, Gabriel? Sure. Yeah, yeah. please. The, the button. Yeah, the yeah. button. There it is. So imagine. Yeah. 
anybody on Twitch. Okay. You click with the Badger button to Twitch to mm -hmm. tip the live streamer on Twitch just with a click of a button with the Badger button right there. Yep. Mm. So there is an API that allows you to basically create user interface elements for uh, Twitch. And I have a 10-year-old son, and he's very into video games. We spend a lot of time watching YouTube and Twitch streamers, and mm. it's very, very popular. These have people have millions of followers. I mean, these guys are super celebrities, and they'll have 20,000 people watching in real time, people interacting wow. and people tipping. Of course, they're going through centralized services, and I'm sure Twitch um, takes a cut. We want to be able to drop a Badger button into Twitch so that anybody can get paid with Badger buttons, so we're working on that as well. That would be pretty fun. Yeah. So we'll add that to our Twitch live stream here shortly as well for future yeah. uh, upcoming uh, Twitch stream. So uh, we have viewer comments uh, as well here. So we have uh, Dominic Johnson. What did Dominic say, Huska? Great video. Side shift sounds cool. Side shift sounds better than cool because shape shift is, uh, was revolutionary in my own personal life. And they got their stomp down again. Uh, shout out to Eric. He deserves all the credit in the world. Um, it was just the central, there was a central point of failure. Yeah, boo to the regulators that uh, strong-armed yeah. them into having to do that. As an investor in ShapeShift, double boo to the to the regulators. So, and actually, I didn't mention it yet. I want to talk about, I have this awesome yeah. shirt. That it says, rule, rule yourself. Uh, the Bitcoin.com team people That's chipped in to buy it for me. Uh, <laughs> with I don't know where they bought it from, but uh, I turned 40 recently. So uh, this is uh, my Ooh. birthday present. And for the Ooh. first time ever, in my life, I put a sticker on my laptop. It said, uh, mm. Rothbard is my sensei. So the current <laughs> book is Henry Hazlitt, uh, yeah. Economics in One Lesson. Maybe uh, maybe in the future we'll do like Anatomy of the State by Murray Rothbard mm. or uh, you know I anything by Murray Rothbard that will just change your entire view of the world. So yeah. I put a Rothbard is my sensei sticker on my laptop. <laughs> so thank you guys for everybody that uh, chipped in for, for those uh, birthday gifts. Thank you so much for that. So, mm. um, Asuka. Yes. I'm sorry, Komugi. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. I know someone that'll teach you English for Bitcoin Cash. Mm. Who? It's not me either. <laughs> I'm totally <laughs> sorry. Uh, it's this girl, Monica. Actually, she'll do, she'll do it. So, Monica, if you happen to watch this, uh, we can send some customers your way, I suppose. Uh, what does that next comment say? Well, she's an English teacher. Who is it from? Mm -hmm. Monica's can, a professional English teacher. Okay, but we can pay. She's Japanese. Yeah, Bitcoin yeah, Cash. Sure, sure, sure. Oh. I'm sure Monica would oh. love that. So, um, yeah, she uh, Japanese, but then like lived in the U.S. Like all of her teens high. and most mm -hmm. of her twenties, and now okay. I think she's back here in Japan. Okay, um, and great, great, great girl. Yeah. So, um, come this on, one. go for it. So from Trans Flowy, Flowy. So I'm sorry, to me, Trans Flowy. Favorite BCH weekly show. BCH has many exciting developments. Love it. Nice job. Thank you, thank you, Trans. Uh, we're glad that you we're your favorite BCH show. That's we an interesting way to spell favorite. Uh, it's a Brit British. British. Yes, it's British. 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 Oh, British. British. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Anyhow, thank you for uh, having us be your favorite BCH show. We want to be your favorite crypto show, period. Mm -hmm. So if you like our cryptocurrency content, subscribe and share this video. Please, I don't just say it because like everybody says, I'm saying it because I really want you copy the URL up there and paste this video into your Facebook, paste this video into your Twitter, uh, and share it on your social media. I'm actually asking you, pause the video right now if you want and share it and then resume and watch the last couple minutes of the video because it really does help us get the word out, right? Yeah. So I like this guy's username. What's the next username there, Asuka? Oh, Bitcoin Cash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good username. What's mm -hmm. he say? If we had some sort of decentralized social media platform with a dislike button and then and that sent a payment to eat BCH or charities, like it would monetize trolls and propaganda in a positive way. I think that's, that's exactly right. And I noticed on yours.org before it mm -hmm. went offline or whatever it's up to now, uh, you could charge for the likes and dislikes or the comments. And they, mm -hmm. they were, people were charging a penny. But mm -hmm. even just charging a penny in, in Bitcoin Cash, the trolls disappeared. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have no crypto. Like these trolls have no crypto. They don't use crypto. There's a great video. Like one of the biggest anti-BCH trolls out there is this guy named Jimmy. Mm -hmm. And I did like a conversation with him on YouTube before. And I asked him in the middle of the thing like, hey, Jimmy, I'm going to show you how this works. Get out your phone and open up your Bitcoin wallet so I can show you how this works. He didn't have a wallet. He's mm -hmm. busy making YouTube videos every single sure. day. He didn't have a wallet on his phone. And that's happened. Time and time again, there's these like anti-crypto people out there that claim they're crypto experts and literally charge people to teach them about crypto. Mm. What? And they don't even have a wallet on their phone. <laughs> Doesn't even make sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, what else do we got? We got a bunch more comments about the candy machine. Who wants to? I think this is for Kamugi. What does this guy ah. want to do? Feeding <laughs> monkeys. 
Sounds cool. What okay. do you think? Should we set one of these up in St. Kitts on a live stream where people can watch on Twitch sure. and send Bitcoin Cash to feed monkeys mm -hmm. live what on What does they eat? Peanuts, oh, I guess. Peanuts. If you know what bananas. monkeys eat, yeah. I don't know how we're going to dispense bananas. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of disgusting, right? After yeah. a day or two. Yeah. So uh, if you know what monkeys eat, or what monkeys yeah, maybe eat that we can put in the nuts. machine? Yeah, probably peanuts or something, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Bananas not going to work. <laughs> we'll have to build a refrigerated vending machine for that one. Yeah. Uh, put the comments below. There. Dehydrated bananas, that would work. Yeah, banana <laughs> chips. That's a great oh, idea. Banana chips. Yeah. 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 yeah, grind up some banana chips or something and put them in there. So. <laughs> mm. um, Retrograin Plus. What was his idea there, Gabriel? It says, put little box Blockstream hats in capsules and beat Samson at his own game. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I bet we could sell a bunch more hats. <laughs> because all these, like, small block people are, like, openly opposed to actually using cryptocurrencies to buy and sell things. So, uh, mm -hmm. and our very own, uh, oh, our, the, I'm sorry, I skipped one. What is our favorite monkey commentator. What did this guy <laughs> say uh, about the monkeys? Mr. Ian Green, what Ian did he Green. say? I'm not sure that machine would stand up to monkeys. Oh. What does it mean, stand up to monkeys? He thinks the monkeys will get ah, rocks and smash so the machine. Destroy it. And yeah, destroy it. What do okay. you think? Let's put it in a cage. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. put it in a cage. We'll or it'll be it. an incentive for them to come up with V2, which is industrial grade. Yeah, the, the, the next generation of the candy machine will stand up to monkeys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then our very own Chris Troutner says, uh, have it dispense marbles, work out a deal with a local bar to exchange marbles for beer. This would let people tip Bitcoin.com employees with beers, have the marble roll onto a floor, and then people in the live stream can watch <laughs> them scramble for the marble. I don't know if wow. it needs to roll onto the floor, but I think it's a pretty neat idea. Just put marbles in there, and then the restaurant exchanges a marble for a beer, mm. and then anybody watching on a live stream can buy beers for anybody, and if the marble comes out, you hand the marble to the store owner, and they give you a beer. That's a pretty darn good idea, Chris. Mm -hmm. It's like we have people with good ideas working here at Bitcoin.com. So thank yep. you for the excellent idea, Chris. Chris the rock star for sure. Yeah, and another one of those examples of those developers that just get way more yeah, done absolutely. than the, the average Joe. Yep. So, any other final comments there? So, well, just yep. it is an honor and a pleasure. I say it every week, and I mean it every week. Uh, this is the most fun I've ever had in my career. This is the most meaningful work I've ever done. The most successful I've ever been. It's a great honor to be a part of this team. Thank you, Roger. Thank you, entire ecosystem. Really. Yeah. Thank you guys. So uh, I guess that's it for this week. Please really do share this video on social media. It really helps get the word out. And try using Bitcoin Cash today. Hi. See you all mm -hmm. next week. <laughs>